Go back to verse um, 16, uh, excuse me, 15. Jesus asked the guys a question. He says, who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. Stop right there. I've always, I've always thought, I've always kind of thought, you know, Peter finally got it right and Jesus didn't give him credit. You know, it's like, it's like he finally got it right and Jesus goes, yeah, that wasn't you, Peter. That was the father. That was. And it just hit me just the other day, honestly, that Jesus was affirming Peter because he heard from the father like, like he hears from the father. So just remember, he only says what he hears the father say. And now Peter stepped into that, into that position, that posture, and he is saying what he hears the Father say. And Jesus is honestly blessing. Blessed are you, Simon Virgin. Blessed are you, Peter. That was awesome. You did good. You heard from the Father. Keep it up. Because just a few minutes, a few minutes later, he gets really stupid and he rebukes Jesus. So uh, he, he was on a roll and he over he, he overextended his confidence. But. Uh, We'll, we'll leave that for an, an, another time, but just take a look at it again. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Verse 18 and 19, especially 19 is key for us. I say to you that you are Peter. On this rock, I will build my church. Now, it's just my conviction, but I don't think Peter is the rock on which the New Testament church is built. My personal conviction is the rock is the revelation that Jesus is the Son of God, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Upon this rock, referring to what Peter just said from the Father, upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. I grew up thinking that the church had gates, uh, walls and gates around us, and they were so strong that the devil couldn't beat them down. I don't know how I got that out of what Jesus just said, because it's not even close. He said, the, hell is the place with the gates, and those gates won't prevail. Gates in the scripture are authorities. It's the place of authority. In any given city, the elders, the leaders of the city would, would sit at the gates, and they would make decisions, judgments, for on behalf of the city. And so when Jesus says the gates of Hades, the, the gates of the powers of darkness will not prevail. It means they're the ones hiding, and we're the ones advancing. And those gates will not prevail. They will not be able to withstand a believing group of people. 